Question number one, which of the following is not a fundamental characteristic of data communication? A. Delivery. B. Accuracy. C. Color. D. Timeliness. Answer. C. Color. Explanation. Color is not a fundamental characteristic of data communication. Question number two, what is the primary objective of data communication? A. To transfer data from one device to another. B. To transfer information from one person to another. C. To transfer physical goods from one location to another. D. To transfer power from one device to another. Answer. A. To transfer data from one device to another. Explanation. The primary objective of data communication is to enable the exchange of digital data between devices through wired or wireless channels. The goal is to ensure accurate, reliable, and efficient transfer of data in the form of text, images, audio, video, or any other digital information. Question number three, which term refers to the variation in the delay of received packets? A. Delivery. B. Accuracy. C. Jitter. D. Timeliness. Answer. C. Jitter. Explanation. Jitter is a measure of the variation in the delay of received packets in a network. It describes the irregularity or deviation in the timing of packet arrival due to network congestion, routing problems, or other factors. Higher jitter can cause issues in real-time applications like voice or video calls. Question number four, which of the following is a physical entity that is used to transfer data between two devices? A. Data. B. Router. Signals. C. Signaling. D. Protocol. Answer. B. Router. Signals. Explanation. A router is a physical networking device that is used to transfer data between two or more devices on a network. It works by analyzing the destination IP address of incoming data packets and forwarding them to the appropriate destination device. Routers connect different networks and can help manage network traffic and prevent congestion. Question number 5. Which of the following refers to the process of converting data into a form suitable for transmission? A. Data encoding. B. Data decoding. C. Data compression. D. Data decompression. Answer. A. Data encoding. Explanation. Data encoding is the conversion of data into a format that can be transmitted over a communication channel. This involves translating data into binary code to ensure efficient and accurate transmission and successful decoding at the receiving end. Question number six, which of the following refers to the path through which data is transmitted between two devices? A. Message. B. Sender. C. Receiver. D. Transmission medium slash channel. Answer. D. Transmission medium slash channel. Explanation. The transmission medium, or channel, is the physical path or medium through which data is transmitted between two or more devices. It can be a wired medium, such as copper cables or fiber optic lines, or a wireless medium, such as radio waves or infrared signals. Question number seven. Which of the following is a set of rules that governs data communication? A. Data. B. Signals. C. Protocol. D. Signaling. Answer. C. Protocol. Explanation. A protocol is a set of rules and standards that define how data is exchanged between devices. It specifies how data is formatted, transmitted, and received and ensures that communication is accurate, reliable, and efficient. Examples include TCP, IP, HTTP, and SMTP. Question number 8. Which of the following is a component of a data communication system that generates data to be transmitted? A. Message. B. Sender. 
C. Receiver. D. Transmission medium. Answer. B. Sender. Explanation. In a data communication system, a sender is a component that generates or originates data to be transmitted to one or more receivers. The sender initiates the transmission process and is responsible for encoding, formatting, and sending the data through the communication channel to the receiver. Question number 9. Which of the following is a component of a data communication system that receives data? A. Message. B. Sender. C. Receiver. D. Transmission medium. Answer. C. Receiver. Explanation. In a data communication system, a receiver is a component that receives and processes data transmitted by the sender through a communication channel. The receiver interprets and decodes the received data to extract the original message, which the receiving device can then use. Question number 10, underscore 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 is the process of converting code to plain text or any other format that can be utilized by subsequent processes. A. Data encoding. B. Data decoding. C. Data compression. D. Data decompression. Answer. B. Data decoding. Explanation. Data decoding is the process of converting received data from its encoded form back into plain text or another format that can be used by the receiving device. The decoding process is necessary to interpret the data accurately and perform any required processing or actions.